with colder weather, we often crave comfort foods, but not the calories that come with it. Cynthia Beretta, chef and founder of Beretta Farms, joins us in the AM kitchen with some tasty substitutions, and this is the time of year. It's true. Good you morning. really do crave comfort foods. At Absolutely. This time of year. And it's very difficult to avoid them when you, you know, it's cold and you want something nice and warm. You've got cozy. Some really good ideas for substitutions. Though. I do, I do. I, I think so. So yeah. we'll see if um, you know you can substitute in some of these ideas for some of the ones that you well, would it all looks normally good. do. Where do we start? We're going to start with a cauliflower fried rice. Okay. And it's very different. But and if you look at it, I've kind of started it already. Yeah. But this so that's that's literally cauliflower just pulsed in the food processor. So you just literally. And it looks quite hearty. It is, and it is. It tastes delicious. So you just plop it in, and you pulse it for a few minutes. And it comes out looking like this. That's and you great. throw it in there. Um, and then to make the actual stir fry, you're going to put all these yummy ingredients. So I have um, some, I've already done an omelet. And I've got some oh, nice. chicken. So it's, you know, very calorie friendly. I've got some delicious chicken. Uh, I usually add coconut oil instead of um, butter yeah. or olive oil. So it's just something different. Um, really good for you. And some sesame oil to add a little Asian seasoning. Wow, what a great idea. Yeah, it's... I love the pulsed cauliflower in there. And do you like heat? Yes, a little just bit. A little just a little bit, bit of heat. For me. We'll just do a little bit of heat and a little bit of garlic. <laughs> um, and some ginger. And you've got your protein, you've got all those you've good vegetables, great here. color. And lots of color, and I'm all about color when I cook. Yeah. You know, if it's, the more color it has, and it's really, it's a lot healthier for that any color. That looks really, like it would be really filling too. It is, and so that's great, and it's actually a meal in one. You don't have to make a salad, you don't no, have to make a side veggie, it's, it's all there. One so pot, I love it. It's really good, so we'll have that after you can taste it. Okay. Um, I'll just season it actually just with a little bit of sea salt, mm -hmm. just a little bit. And then what we thought we would do, instead of, I'm Italian, Yes. And pasta is kind of a staple in my house, but I have to change it up occasionally. So I thought I would do a spaghetti squash. Okay, which you've done here. I've already done that. Okay. So if you want to just scoop some onto that okay. plate, Beverly, that would be very helpful. Sure. Yeah, just scoop that there. And then I made a cacciatore sauce. And so cacciatore is really a very fall meal because it's got all the fall veggies. So it's got, you know, tomato, carrots, celery. I did a little bit of turkey bacon in okay. here, so just to add a little bit of flavor, but turkey bacon's very lean. Um, and some bay leaves, and you just let it stew for about, you know, half an hour. But there's still some firmness to the veggie, veggies in there? There is, there a is. Little little bit. Yeah, there is, because you're only stewing it for about yeah. 20 minutes, so not very long. And then you're going to put that on your spaghetti squash. And so it's just a little bit... Instead of pasta, what a, a great little, idea. A little bit different. Um, and, you know, it adds... A, and again, Almost a full meal. You might want to make a salad there. That's probably yeah, no, a good. Yeah, that's good. What's that? And this is fresh Parmesan oh, just cheese. Parmesan. Yeah, some Parmigiano for it. There's the comfort right there. Yeah, there it is. You gotta have a little. You know, nothing is ever I complete love that. without no. cheese. So some cheese. Um, and then for a side salad to this dish, what I did was to add something that has a lot of flavor and a lot of nutrients, especially this time of the year. Kale is so hearty; it actually lasts right. all the way up. You can almost leave it in your garden until December. Okay. And so it's purple kale. There's carrots um, and some walnuts and green onions in here. And then I did a zucchini and avocado dressing. Oh, how nice. Yeah, with olive oil and walnut oil. It's a mixture. And so kale has the, almost the same protein actually as milk. And so it's, it's calcium, sorry. And more protein, they say, than meat. Although I, I love shouldn't. the fact that this all looks very filling and lovely. It's really good. And so this is a great combination together. And then as a light dessert, I did something um, with some fresh fruit. So okay. there's pear, uh, there's raspberries, and ginger, fresh ginger in there. And just rolled oats, maple syrup. Nice. Um, and you can serve that with uh, Greek yogurt and pomegranate. And it's, you know, simple, healthy, simple, Cynthia. healthy dessert. Thank you. Very yeah, no, thank in. you. You'll find today's recipes on our website at canadaam.ctvnews.ca. Up next on the show, a Canadian country music sensation performs on the AM Soundstage.